The Beyond Epica ice cores are slowly being recovered from the Antarctic ice sheet, as they contain crucial information about past climate. But to simply have the ice cores is not enough. They need to be cleaned and catalogued. And that is a logger's job. Discover with us the steps of the drilling process, taking us closer to the oldest ice. All ice cores need to, to be logged so that we are able to record the length and the depth of each section of ice core. The loggers write down and record everything that they see about the core, the length of it, the depth of it, when are there any breaks, and make sure that each core is uniquely identifiable and its orientation with respect to the surface is clearly marked. The steps for logging are that first we get the ice core out of the core barrel, we measure it, we write down the length of the ice core that we have, we clean the ice core from all the drill fluid that's around it, and then we start to measure the ice core, measure it in such a way that we have one meter mark on the ice core, which we then cut into one meter pieces. So we have one meter, one meter, and these one meter sections is what we define as one bag. And this one bag will be packed into a plastic bag, put into an ice core box, and then taken away from the logging procedure to core processing. And the reason we need to be doing this, of course, is because at a later stage when the cores are back in Europe, we need to be sure, of course, that all the individual lengths of ice core are in the correct order and the correct way up so that we, we have our climate record uh, as you go deeper in the core getting progressively older. The logging process requires strong concentration, but this is not the final step for the ice core's journey to Europe. In the next video, we will find out more about the pre-processing of ice cores. Keep following our adventure.